I'm assuming that as of now, most of us are aware that Didi has been arrested. So let's take a look at all the lawsuits that have led to his arrest. So first and foremost, we have Cassie Ventura's lawsuit, which eventually ended up leading to the rest of the lawsuits coming in. And Cassie Ventura's lawsuit came on November 16th, where she alleged that Didi raped in 2018 and subjected her to a years-long abusive relationship that included physical abuse and his assertion of complete control over her personal and professional life. Well, after the lawsuit on November 16th, Ventura's $30 million lawsuit was settled the day after it was filed for an undisclosed amount, with Ventura telling CNN she chose to resolve this matter amicably, while Combs' attorney said that the settlement was in no way an admission of wrongdoing and didn't change his denial of the allegations. After that, on November 23rd, a woman named Joey Dickerson Neal alleged in a lawsuit that Combs drugged her, sexually assaulted her, and secretly recorded the assault while she was a college student in 1991. Then on November 23rd, an anonymous plaintiff accused Combs and singer-songwriter Erin Hall of rape her and a friend in 1990 and 1991 after meeting at an MCA Records event in New York, a suit that, like the Dickerson Neal complaint, was filed shortly before the expiration of a New York law temporarily allowing lawsuits for older assault allegations that would ordinarily be past the statute of limitation. On December 6th, Didi was hit with another sexual assault suit, accusing him of dragging and participating participating in a gang rape of the unnamed woman in 2003 when the accuser was just 17 years old. And then in February 26th, Didi was yet again hit with one of his other lawsuits, which came from producer Lil Road, who alleged that he was subjected to unwanted advances by associates of Didi at his direction and was forced to engage in relations with sex workers he hired. In a set of widely covered allegations, John said in the lawsuit that Combs regularly hosted sex trafficking parties with underage women and illegal drugs and implied record label executives who looked the other way financially benefited from access to celebrities like the British royal Prince Harry who was not accused of any wrongdoing or of attending parties himself. Now, on May 19th, Cassie Ventura spoke out after CNN obtained a 2016 video of Combs attacking her in a hotel hallway, stating on Instagram Thursday morning that domestic violence broke her and she will always be recovering from her past, of which Combs later apologized for the video. On May 24th, plaintiff April Lampros accused Combs in a lawsuit filed in New York on Thursday of sexual assault over four terrifying sexual encounters between 1995 and 2001, including three incidents of rape and one more instance of Combs forcing her to take ecstasy. On May 22nd, former model Crystal McKinney filed a lawsuit in Manhattan Federal Courts accusing the rapper of dragging and sexually assaulting her at his New York recording studio in 2023. Before his arrest on May 29th, federal investigators brought Combs' accusers to testify before a grand jury, and most plaintiffs who have filed lawsuits against the rapper have already been interviewed by investigators, a move that indicated that prosecutors were looking to charge somebody, and indeed, on September 16th, Combs was arrested in Manhattan after being inducted by a grand jury although the indictment remains sealed and the charges against him have not yet been made public.